Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about using the XF tool to examine the tagging and metadata information within an image file. XF stands for Exchangeable Image File Format. Now, the XF tool was developed by Phil Harvey. It is a platform independent Perl library coupled with a full featured command line implementation for reading, writing, and manipulating the metadata across a broad range of files, particularly JPEG images. This metadata can include camera make, file type, permissions, file size, and GPS information. XF Tool further offers more details about the photograph, like the exposure, the shutter speed, and whether or not a flash was fired. For this lab, I'm using CSI Linux, though you can use Kali. The XF tool comes pre-installed with CSI Linux. You'll have to install it for Kali Linux. So if you need to install it for Kali Linux, the steps for installing it are readily available inside of the lab file. So the first thing we're going to have to do before we can use XF tool is to find us some images that we can examine. To do this, we're going to open up a browser gone up here to my quick launch up inside of CSI Linux. You can do the same inside of Kali Linux. Now once you have your browser opened up, inside of the address bar you can just type in the following URL, github.com forward slash I-A-N-A-R-E forward slash XF dash samples. Let's go ahead and visit that site real quick. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now once the web page opens up, just go on over where it says code, pull down this arrow, and from the options, just select download zip. From here, you have to scroll to the bottom where you see the file actually being downloaded. Now once the archive has been downloaded, just go ahead and use that up arrow, and you're going to click on where it says show in folder. Once you're here inside of the downloads folder, you're just going to right click, and you're going to select from the options, to extract to. When you have the options available, just click on where it says desktop. Go on over here and click on the extract button. Go ahead and close out the downloads folder and close out your browser. Now from your desktop, you'll see that you have the downloaded archive extracted. We're going to go ahead and rename this folder to something much easier to work with. So I'm going to right click on it from the context menu. I'm going to select rename and I'm just going to call it images. Click on Rename, and now our folder is renamed Images. So the next step is to open up a terminal. Now at the prompt, you're just going to change locations over to your desktop. Once you're inside of the desktop, you can change on over to the Images directory. Now we can do an LS, and you'll see that we have a couple of more directories that we can get into. The directory that we're going to have to get into is the JPEG directory. So we're going to type in CD space JPG. Hit enter. Now we're inside of that folder. Let's do an ls. Now the next directory that we want to get into is the one that's called gps. So type in cd space gps. Now you can do an ls and you'll see we have a number of images that we can work with in here. We're just going to go ahead and take that first image and that's the one we're going to be working with. So let's just go ahead and copy that name of that file real quickly. So I've gone ahead and highlighted it. I'm going to right click and I'm just going to copy. Let's go ahead and make my terminal full screen. Now to launch XF tool, we're just going to type in XF tool, followed by the name of the image that we want to look at. So I'm going to right click in here and I'm just going to paste the name of that image that we chose. So at the prompt, I have XF tool space, the name of the image. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And here's all the metadata that is currently available to us up inside of this particular image. You can scroll through it and you can see that there's a lot of information in here. Now some of this information would be available to us up inside of the properties that we would normally see if we right clicked on the images. And we went into property, well that's what we would see, but that would only be a small, a very small subset of what we're seeing here. If you need to capture the IDs along with the XF tags, in a hexadecimal format, we can add in a dash capital H command to see that type of information. So I've typed in XF tool space 
dash capital H space followed by the name of the image. Go ahead and hit enter. And now you'll notice that over here on the left we have those hexadecimal tags. Let's go ahead and clear our screen. I've typed in clear at the prompt. Hit enter. Now we're back up to a clear terminal. Now if we just need to see the most common XF tags, then we can just type in XF tool space dash common all lowercase space the name of the file that we want to examine. Once we hit enter, we're shown a small subset of the most common meta tags that are available for this image. If the image was taken using a smartphone or a camera that has GPS capability, then we can look at that GPS information inside of the metadata. To do this, I've typed in exif tool space the name of the image space pipe space grep GPS. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And we come up with a nice subset of all the GPS information telling us when and where this image was captured. Again, let's go ahead and clear our terminal. Now to see a much more comprehensive output of the data that is being generated, we can use the dash small letter V command, which stands for verbose. So at the prompt, I've typed in exif tool space dash small letter V followed by the name of the image file. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And you can see that we get a much more comprehensive output of the information that is being generated. Let's go ahead and clear our terminal one more time. XIF tool also allows us to look for certain keywords inside of the metadata. In this example, I've typed in XIF tool space, so I'm going to start this off with a double quote, dash, asterisk, comment, asterisk, close the quote. Now, I'm looking for any metadata tag that has the word comment in it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit enter. And it comes back and it tells me that there is one metadata tag that has the word comment in it and it's user. The asterisk at the front and at the back of our keyword is a wildcard. And we can find anything that has the word comment in it by using this character. Now another great feature of using EXIF tool is the ability to write to a tag up inside of the metadata. Now we can't write to every tag, especially if it has anything to do with the physical characteristics of the file, such as the compression ratio. But in this example, I'm going to write to the comment tag. And I've typed in EXIF tool space dash comment equals single quote, meet me in the park at noon, close it off with a single quote, give it a space, the name of the file. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back and it tells you that the file was updated. Now what it does with the original file is it makes a copy. So we can do an ls and we should be able to see that the original file was renamed underscore original. And so now if I look at the metadata for this particular image, I should see a comment with that message. And here we see it right here. So this is an example of how someone might hide information inside of the metadata for a particular image file. Let's go ahead and clear our terminal. Now with EXIF tool, we can also remove all of the extra metadata that we're seeing when we run it for the first time. So if I want to remove all of the metadata from the information shown for a particular image, I just type in XIF tool space dash all equals space the name of the file. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And it says that that one image file was updated. And now if I want to examine the metadata for this particular image, I'll go ahead and hit enter. You'll notice that I only have a small subset of what was previously being shown to us as far as the metadata tags go. So we got to see a lot of the different switches that we can use with EXIF tool and we got to see how powerful it is and it is a great utility for looking at the metadata for a lot of different file formats. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about using EXIF tool to view the metadata for an image file. Got any questions, you got any concerns, don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.